Another city and another match on the horizon for Scotland. The squad have arrived in Christchurch. It's a city recovering, a city rebuilding. Shattering earthquakes here in 2010 and 2011 took nearly 200 lives. Scotland's Michael Leask was given a tour this week of some of the worst affected areas. And although he's been here before, it's a place that is constantly changing. First time was for the qualifier back in January last year. That would have been the first time around the team. So things would be quite different now. Yeah, oh yeah, everything's again still moved on again. I think there's still obviously quite a lot of work to do. And mm -hmm. Is there a guesstimate as to how long it's going to take? You know, I think it's kind of one of those situations where you'll be able to come here now, come here in a year's time yeah. and see the change, but come here in five years' time, come here in ten years' time, and the city's going to continue like, to like, progress. Christchurch is finding itself a new identity. It sees opportunity to innovate and remake itself from the rubble and the heartache. OK, so this is my favourite coffee shop. Um, and I think we're going to go in there, we'll see if we can get them, we might be a little bit early, but we're going to see if we can get some flying burgers. So, sounds a little bit different. Um, they come and sell like three burgers, sets of three, and they come flying around the roof and land at the station closest to you guys. expect that in the slightest, but it's absolutely lovely, yeah. We'll be back. Yeah, absolutely. The Restart Mall is a good example of how the city has coped. It's a movable collection of containers, and this, say those who live here, may be the thing that saved the city from becoming a ghost town in the aftermath of the quakes. Scotland actually played the first game against Canterbury at the Hagley Oval, so it'll be nice to go back there and play against England, obviously. Um, I think it's nice for the people of Christchurch to have cricket back, and knowing that they missed the the Rugby World Cup, I think having a major tournament here is good for them. And this has been our opportunity to really kind of say, hi, you guys, you know, we're here, we want you to come and visit us, take a look at what's happening, and yeah, it's been really good for the people of the city, I think. I mean, you're travelling all around the world, I mean, you've seen some devastation when we've been here still, I mean, there's still a lot of kind of rubble from a lot of the buildings, but again, you see how much work tax has been put in at the same time, so it kind of does take it back to perspective that you are playing cricket, but you're also visiting someone else's country. So this is the transitional or Kabul Cathedral, as locals like to call it. Um, I think it's fairly evident why it's called the Kabul Cathedral with the cardboard tube. This is a, a temporary re replacement for the actual Christchurch Cathedral, um, since that is still um, a little bit up in the air as to what's going to be happening with that and the space there. It strikes me that a lot of the, the things that have been put up, like the, the container, the restart area and this cathedral as well, they are very popular and they do have a sort of feeling of permanence about them. Mm -hmm. um, will there be a wrench, do you think, for the, the people who have sort of seen this stuff grow up and have sort of lived with it for a number of years? They might not want to see them go when, when the time comes. Yeah, I mean, I think people, especially at Restart Mall, um, places like this, people do get attached to them, especially following such a, a big upheaval in your life. But I think we, we know that this is part of the transitional city and that this is not a permanent space and that eventually we're going to need to, to build permanent, safe buildings. So we kind of know that we're going to miss them, but I think you know, looking forward to the future, the opportunities that are abound are just huge.